Welcome to the Sage Pastel Counting How-To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to process a foreign currency revaluation in Sage Pastel Counting. You would process a foreign currency revaluation if you make use of the multi-currency add-on module in Sage Pastel Partner. The foreign currency revaluation is run to balance the difference between the foreign currency value and the home currency value caused by fluctuations in the exchange rate from time of sale or purchase to time of receipt or payment, i.e. when different exchange rates are used when making a sale or purchase to when receiving or making a payment. Please ensure that you have a valid backup of your company data set before running a foreign currency revaluation, as a foreign currency revaluation cannot be reversed without a valid backup. Please also note that you need to run a foreign currency revaluation before the year end assistance is run, as you cannot run a foreign currency revaluation for last year. To process a foreign currency revaluation in Sage Pasta Accounting, click on Process Foreign Currency Revaluation. The Foreign Currency Revaluation Assistance screen will display, asking you to choose an operation to perform. You can choose to revalue your foreign currency cash box, your foreign currency customer accounts, or your foreign currency supplier accounts. You can choose one, a combination, or all of the options at the same time. Make your selection and click on Next. You will be asked to choose a period and a starting reference to run the revaluation in. Select your period and click on Edit Exchange Rates. The Edit Exchange Rate screen will display. From the drop-down list, select each currency that you have set up and ensure that the exchange rate for the period that you selected to run the revaluation in is correct. If you need to edit the exchange rates, please do so for each and every currency and then click on OK. The Select a Period and Starting Reference screen will once again display. Please enter a reference that you wish to use when running the revaluation and click on Next. The Print the Foreign Currency Variance Report screen will display. Please click on Print Report. The Currency Variance screen will display asking you to select a range. You can choose Bank, Customers, Suppliers, Bank and Customers, Bank and Suppliers, Customers and Suppliers or All. If you choose a combination, the code start and end will be greyed out. You will only be able to choose a code start and end if you only choose one option, such as bank, customers, or suppliers. Please also select the period you wish to produce the report for, as well as whether to print zero items or not. Once you have selected your filters, click on OK, and the print and email screen will display. Here you can set which printer to use, as well as your main and title fonts, by clicking on the Set Printer button, the Set Main Font button, or the Set Title Font button. Once you have made your selection, click on OK and your report will print to the printer that you selected. Please check your report and ensure that the accounts and the variances that will be written for these accounts are correct. Ensure that the correct exchange rate was used for the currency that you selected. Once you have ensured that the report is correct, you can then click on Next. The Confirm Operation screen will display, advising you of the options that you selected. If you wish to change any of your selection, click on Back. Click on Cancel to exit the assistant without making any changes, or click on Process. If you click on Process, the Operation Complete screen will display. It will advise you of how many adjustments were made, and you can then click on Start to rerun the assistant using a different option, or Finish to end the assistant.